Good evening and welcome to evening prayer in this season from All Saints Day to the first day of Advent. It's Tuesday the 10th of November when the Church remembers Leo the Great, Bishop of Rome, teacher of the faith, who died this day in 461. And we are going to broadcast daily prayer every evening in keeping with the Archbishop of Canterbury's call to prayer for the nation at 6 p.m. each day. So we'll begin with his prayer that he suggests we use each day, and then we go on to the Office of Evening Prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, at this time of crisis when so many are suffering, we pray for our nation and our world. Give our leaders wisdom, our health service strength, our people hope. Lead us through these parched and difficult days to the fresh springs of joy and comfort that we find in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Your faithful servants bless you that they make known the glory of your kingdom. Blessed are you, sovereign God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. Now as darkness is falling, wash away our transgressions. Cleanse us by your refining fire and make us temples of your Holy Spirit. By the light of Christ, dispel the darkness of our hearts and make us ready to enter your kingdom where songs of praise forever sound. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm for this evening is Psalm 36. The refrain, With you, O God, is the well of life. With you, O God, is the well of life. Sin whispers to the wicked in the depths of their heart. There is no fear of God before their eyes. They flatter themselves in their own eyes. That their abominable sin will not be found out. The words of their mouth are unrighteous and full of deceit. They have ceased to act wisely and to do good. They think out mischief upon their beds and have set themselves in no good way, nor do they abhor that which is evil. Your love, O Lord, reaches to the heavens and your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness stands like the strong mountains, your justice like the great deep. You, Lord, shall save both man and beast. How precious is your loving mercy, O God! All mortal flesh shall take refuge under the shadow of your wings. They shall be satisfied with the abundance of your house. They shall drink from the river of your delights. For with you is the well of life, and in your light shall we see light. O continue your love and kindness to those who know you and your righteousness to those who are true of heart. Let not the foot of pride come against me, nor the hand of the ungodly thrust me away. There are they fallen, all who work wickedness. They are cast down and shall not be able to stand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. With you, O God, is the well of life. O God, the well of life, make us bright with wisdom, that we may be lightened with the knowledge of your glory in the face of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A reading from the prophecy of Isaiah, chapter 5, beginning at verse 25. Therefore the anger of the Lord was kindled against his people, and he stretched out his hand against them and struck them. The mountains quaked, 
and the corpses were like refuse in the streets. For all this his anger has not turned away, and his hand is stretched out still. He will raise a signal for a nation far away, and whistle for a people at the ends of the earth. Here they come, swiftly, speedily. None of them is weary, none stumbles, none slumbers or sleeps, not a loincloth is loose, not a sandal thong broken, the arrows are sharp, all their bows bent, their horses' hoofs seem like flint, and their wheels like the whirlwind. Their roaring is like a lion, like young lions they roar, they growl and seize their prey, they carry it off, and no one can rescue. They will roar over it on that day, like the roaring of the sea. And if one looks to the land, only darkness and distress, and the light grows dark with crowds. Our canticle for this evening is a song of God's assembled. The refrain, we have come before the throne of God to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. We have come before God's holy mountain, to the heavenly Jerusalem, the city of the living God. We have come before countless angels making festival, before the assembly of the firstborn citizens of heaven. We have come before God, who is judge of all, before the spirits of the just made perfect. We have come before Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. We are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, so let us give thanks and offer to God acceptable worship, full of reverence and awe, for our God is a consuming fire. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. We have come before the throne of God to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. A reading from the New Testament is from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 5, reading verses 13 to 20. You are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how can its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything, but is thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hidden. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it under the bushel basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish but to fulfill. For truly I tell you, until heaven and earth pass away, not one letter, not one stroke of a letter will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. The Responsory Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand and afterwards receive me with glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. The Magnificat, or the Song of Mary. The refrain, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will make you ruler over much. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. 
From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel, to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little, and I will make you ruler over much. As we come to our prayers this evening, we give thanks for those whom we have prayed for today, those whom we had in our thoughts, those whom we encountered, whether it was face to face, on Zoom, we spoke with them on the telephone, or some other form of communication. We give thanks for them and pray for a peaceful night. For individuals and their needs, we pray for those in our prayer list. And tonight we pray especially for the bereaved families, the Wathen family, the Emston family, and the Fjord family, as they mourn the passing of Bob, Julie, and David. And we pray that the souls of Bob, Julie and David, and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercies of God, would rest in peace and rise in glory. We pray that the saints on earth may live as citizens of heaven, that all people may hear and believe the word of God, for those who fear the winter months, for Elizabeth our Queen and all sovereigns and political leaders, that they may imitate the righteous rule of Christ. And we pray for those who wait with the dying. Loving God, at this time of crisis when so many are suffering, we pray for our nation and our world. Give our leaders wisdom, our health service strength, our people hope. Lead us through these parched and difficult days to the fresh springs of joy and comfort that we find in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God, our Father, who made your servant Leo strong in the defense of the faith, fill your church with the spirit of truth, that guided by humility and governed by love, she may prevail against the powers of evil, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Uniting our prayers with the whole company of heaven, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining us for evening prayer today, Tuesday the 10th of November. Do have a good evening, and if you can, join us at the same time tomorrow when the church remembers Martin, Bishop of Tours. So have a pleasant evening, and if you can, join us tomorrow at 6 p.m. Thank you. <music>